It's been a little over a year, right, since you started your journey with yes. breast cancer. So where are you at now? So I am Knockwood cancer free. I had uh, quite a quite a bumpy road last year with three surgeries, but um, you know, thankfully I'm feeling energetic and strong. Uh, you know, the message that I like to share with, especially with young women, you know, I was just turning 40. I was more fit and healthier than I had ever been. The, the people said there's no way that um, someone like you could get cancer, and then boom, I had breast cancer. Um, it was something I found myself after a clear mammogram. Results came back, they were clear, and 11 days later I found the lump myself during a self-exam. And this becomes a situation where you got to make lemonade, it, right? It does. It is a situation absolutely where, you know, it really, this diagnosis of cancer really knocked me down, and I'm a innately positive person. I'm a happy-go-lucky person. And I thought this is not how I can feel for the next God knows how long that I have for this journey. Mm -hmm. And I made a concerted effort to make a 180 in my perspective. And I said, you know what, no matter what comes at me, I'm going to try to take it on with a positive attitude. Not to say that there weren't days that I broke down crying or wanted to just sure shut out the world. But for the most part, I really stayed positive and born out of that was Gotta Make Lemonade. My husband and I, my husband and I started Gotta Make Lemonade, which is a website to inspire positivity in the face of adversity, but no matter what the issue, because life deals you so many challenges. Mm -hmm. So many lemons. So many lemons. You know, and because we have two little girls who were just three and six when I was diagnosed, we decided rather than just keeping Gotta Make Lemonade focused on breast cancer survivors, I wanted to open it up to really any challenge in your life that knocks you down and share stories that show how you got back up with a positive attitude and then and this is the lemonade of it then turn it into something even better well, you returned to Dancing with the Stars recently. Yeah, I did. What was it like to go back and hit up DWTS? It, it was so it was so much fun. It was the 10th anniversary show, and I got to sit in the audience next to Apollo Anton Ono, who was um, a dancer on one of the seasons um, that I hosted. And a little easy on the eyes. Not not bad to look at, I will say. I will say. Uh, my kids said, well, "Mommy, who's that boy sitting next to you?" I'm like, uh -oh. Don't worry, don't worry. Daddy's still number one. <laughs> 